What is going on you guys? It is the Milkman here. We are coming back with another video. This time we are actually going to be shooting a gun that I bought. It is a Shadow or a CZ Shadow 2. So I actually got it like uh, I think a month ago. About three weeks ago anyways and I have not had time to shoot it yet so I'm finally getting to it. But my truck right now I had brought it in to get the AC fixed on it. And I just heard today it's going to be $6,000 to get the AC just like working on it because everything on it is so old and wore out that like the whole system is just literally trash. So anyways, I'm going to shoot my gun and uh, I'm really excited about doing that. I don't know if you guys are into guns or not. I know some of you commented that you got some um, a while back. Uh, yeah, so it'll be my first time ever shooting it right now you guys have to let me know what you guys think of it i'll show you it here so this is my gun see it's the shadow cz shadow and it's a cz shadow 2 i guess they did have a cz shadow like just a regular one uh, but this one's like pretty superior to that one even uh i watched i literally bought it because i went into shields and asked them the guy was like actually super knowledgeable about guns and it's funny because i've seen this guy in shields like my whole life growing up uh because it's just the shields where i grew up i live in minnesota now but it was actually in eau claire wisconsin because in minnesota you need to have a uh, carry permit or whatever but in wisconsin all you need to have is your driver's license and a clean record and you can get one so i just went back home to wisconsin and uh, got myself this. I just said, I need something that is gonna be okay because I have like big hands and I wanted something that like fit in my hand nice. And as you can see, it actually fits really nice. It's really heavy actually. So it's not a carry gun by any means, but it's fun to shoot and keep in the house, um, you know, in case anything does ever happen. I'm not carrying it around. I don't actually carry, but I would consider doing it. I don't even know if it's legal to carry in the truck or not. But anyways, so <laughs> I've already got three clips loaded in the one in here. And the nice thing is this thing, like the clip release actually stands out. So you can see I actually got the clip in here already loaded up. I went ahead and bought 24 cases of soda. I don't actually drink pop or soda, whatever you guys want to call it. I don't drink it, but I'm going to shoot it. I'm going to put it up against that dirt there and uh, probably stand back here and shoot some cans. So just be something fun to do, good relief. Uh, after everything going on, you know, truck just, I don't know. It is what it is. It's just I was not, I honestly was not expecting $6,000 to fix the AC and it's accurate i mean everything on there is literally junk it's worn out and it's an old truck it really has never been messed with so whatever it is what it is but we're gonna deal with that later and we're gonna shoot right now oh i'm excited stressed as you can tell but it i don't know it's the way of the world right now it seems like but I can tell that dirt is just ready for some cans to sit on it and that gun is ready to be shot. So I'm super excited, here we go. So I almost forgot I gotta have the hearing protection because these things are really loud, especially when you're shooting them. <coughs> if I didn't have it, I was only gonna shoot a couple because I've shot a couple handguns and it like actually hurts your ears after you shoot them. So I'd rather have hearing protection, but anyways. <coughs> so I'm gonna use this can here. I'm gonna put my phone on it so you guys can see what's going on. Because I'm using my phone today, I don't have my GoPro set up. I think it's dead, actually. So uh, we're going to see how this works out.
All right, so as you can see, I'm not very accurate with the gun yet. Um, it's a little bit of getting used to. I also don't know 100% how to like position myself when I'm shooting. So you could see I kind of adjusted there a little bit and then I like nailed it. So I got to learn how to do all that stuff. But anyways, now I'm going to reload the clips. I got some uh, PMC 9mm uh, 115 grain. 1150 fps it was really hard to find any ammo so this is where we're at with this and then i got some uh spear spear le gold dot duty ammunition uh and this is 147 grain so i guess i don't know they say it like has more of a punch the more grain that you have so and i guess like felt recoil or realized real recoil whatever they call it i have no idea i don't know this stuff very well but anyways um so i'm going to try one with the 115 grain and then i'm going to do one with the 147 grain and see if i can feel any difference i'm no gun expert by any means i just do this for fun and then uh of course if somebody comes in the house so I'm gonna get this loaded up and then we'll shoot those and see what those are like. I guess I wasn't expecting that. These are hollow tips actually. And these are just regular tip. So that'll be fun to see what these hollow tips do. These pop cans probably explode them. Oh yeah, that'll be fun. Sweet. Huh, didn't know that when I grabbed them. Guessing. So this is what you can see here. I got the spear and the PMC. I don't know if that's, I think that's the brand name, or maybe it's Gold Dot. I really don't know anything about this stuff. I just know I need 9mm ammo, <laughs> and different grains do make a difference, I guess. So, almost, I got the the PMC, the bronze, uh, 115 grain loaded up. I'm going to load one with the hollow tips now. We got both clips loaded up now. I think I'm going to shoot this one first. This one does feel heavier. I really have an idea. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm going to stop talking about that stuff. Anyways, so I'm going to go, uh, I'll show you guys what this is like. I'm going to go set some more cans up over there. And then I'm thinking maybe I might set some up a little bit farther out in the field there, kind of on that hill. And then we'll do a little bit longer range and see what we can hit. I already can't hit it close here, so I'm sure you can imagine what it's going to be like out there. <sighs> All right, so let's see what these hollow tips and these... Uh, 115 grains do. All right, you guys, so you can see that was 115 grain. That was pretty accurate there for the most part. And then once I got to that one on the far, far side, anyways, um, I completely lost my accuracy. So I don't know. I need to figure out what I'm doing. But anyways, I'm going to go shoot the hollow tip now. All right, guys, so comment below if you know, like give me some pointers and tips on how to stand when I am shooting because I don't know how to stand when I'm shooting a handgun to be the most accurate. So this is the hollow points. Now these are 147 grain, I believe.
Okay, well, the difference between the 147 grain and the 115 grain, the recoil, I did not really notice it. Then again, I'm very amateur at this. Uh, so I don't feel like the little things when it's when it comes down to that stuff. But watching the cans explode <laughs> compared, so you had the 115 grain compared to the 147, then hollow tip, which I'm sure is the real reason they poof, like blew all over. But that was crazy. You saw how the regular tip literally just like would put a hole in it. And it would kind of like poof, where the hollow tip, it would hit it and go poof, and then like explode off. So yeah that's fun i'm gonna load up a couple more clips shoot a little bit more and then uh go look at my truck parts i got um i have my drop panels here at the house uh because i had them professionally painted i tried to rattle can it like i did but like my brother did the truck i should say because my brother had it before me and he rattle can that truck and uh anyways so tried to rattle can it and it would like like leak all over but I brought it to a professional body painter so it could look decent on like the rest of the truck. So I'm kind of like, I feel like I'm gonna be embarrassed when I put it on the truck cause it's gonna look so nice and the rest of my truck is like a piece of crap. So anyways, I'll show you guys what those look like. I saw pictures of them earlier today, but I was so excited to come here and shoot my gun that I wanted to do this before I saw those. Um, but yeah, from the pictures, whew, makes money to get my whole truck painted to be honest. So anyways, like I said, I'll show you guys that when I get up there to do that. I'm actually gonna go shoot some more here because it's the first time I've got to shoot my gun in forever and I'm really excited to be able to get to do it right now. And I'm gonna take advantage of the time I have. Beautiful night out here. And uh, we'll see you guys when I get to my parts. All right, guys, well, we are on the way to Milwaukee to go see Maddie's parents. And uh, I know yesterday's video when I said I was gonna show you guys the parts that got painted, I never did end up getting to that because I started talking to my mom and dad and then it got super late and I just had to leave. So I will have to show you guys that in another video. I have some pictures I'll post. Um, I'll post them on the YouTube page in the home section in the community so you guys can see what they look like, but they are just, they're so nice, it's crazy. So uh, I will have a video of installing those sometime here in the near future. Uh, you think you guys will really like those, but like I said, they're so clean and the truck is just not that nice, so it's gonna be kind of embarrassing <laughs> to have them on there. But anyways, all right, appreciate you guys watching the video and uh, if you liked it, hit that like button hit the subscribe button and we will see you guys in the next video.